Now the NFL has seen its fair share of legendary quarterback wide receiver duos and we're pretty much getting ready to add on to that. When you think of Reese Rivers and Travis Johnson, we're about to check all their stats and everything in a minute, but you're gonna think of Randy Moss and Tom Brady, Joe Montana and Jerry Rice, Peyton Manning, Marvin Harrison. You're gonna take that type of level by the time this season is over. We're doing a full season series where we're trying to pretty much break all the records left by top wide receiver and quarterback duos. And basically, here goes the head of the snake, man. We have a 6'3 quarterback, 225. Now, we went away from the typical, like, speedster quarterback. I want to be more of a pocket quarterback in this series. You got 92 throw power, 91 deep accuracy. You see the medium accuracy and everything. 93 play action, throw on the run. We do have 76 speed, 75 acceleration. Not much agility. A lot of strength. I'm trying to be like the big Ben, get off me in the pocket type of quarterback. For the other half of the duo, you got a speedster, right? A little bit different. You have 99 speed, 99 acceleration, 82 catching. Cause I mean, let's be real. A lot of the speed wide receivers, they can't catch that good. <laughs> we did put some respect on the deep route running, short route and medium route, pretty mid. Good release at 88. The agility is 99. What better way to make your NFL debut for two rookies than versus the Cowboys, right? Whole lot of pressure. They let Bellinger run free. Why not let it fly? Chris Smooth boys, all the way down to the 30. That's a 33 yard completion. I'll try a comeback right here. Stefan Gilmore, like he might be manned up all day. And we got sacked. I tried to let it go. They had a double coverage over there anyways. A second and 12. Look at the pressure again. Oh, we see a zone though. The fact he had to lay out for it and the other DB broke for it. That was low-key a close one. 15 yards for Wondell Robinson. And you know what? I have just the play to get Travis Johnson involved right here. Basically a bubble screen. Utilize his speed to the best of our ability. And tossed it quick. Get that block for us. Moving like, oh my God, moving like he's in the water. Oh, he fumbled it? Again, we gotta get rid of Saquon. Cause he's not here anymore. And I'ma just take the, I'ma just take the dive. Touchdown. <laughs> First career touchdown is a rushing one, but we're on the board. Look at the abilities, bro. Pick artist, acrobat, flat zone KO. I don't wanna lob it anywhere near him. And I think they let Bellinger go again. That's another catch. My number one receiver is my backup tight end. As Bellinger keeps cooking, let's try to come back route this time. Can we leave Saquon in to help with the blocking though? We're going to utilize you while you're here because you won't be on this roster too much long. Oh, at least see the cover three. Let it go to Darius Slayton. They had my dog walled off. They had the coverage over the top. They had the dude shadow underneath. How do they call that perfectly for the comeback route? I don't know. Luck of the draw. I tried to let it go. We had Slayton running underneath. We got sacked again. Apparently, Mozzie Smith interior is the real deal. <laughs> Apparently. Now, I should have put Waller on a little out route and a fumble. Big man picks it up. We got sacked. I think that was Demarcus Lawrence that time. And that's the end of the drive. Nothing like your first play starting off with a holding call. Second and 20 after an incomplete pass first. Oh, Saquon. And we let him perfect. We cannot overshoot this. And we do I have too much arm strength for my own good? We have second and three. We're back in the second half. Bellinger again. <laughs> Why do they keep leaving my tight end open like this? Now, I know this is supposed to be the quarterback wide receiver duo, and it's the third quarter, and I think he might have two total touches. <laughs> but I mean, like, what do you want me to do about the coverage? And it's a fumble again. I just can't catch a break with the pressure. Let me get rid of it. You can't say I'm not looking for my guy. It's just the pressure on top of the coverage that's just really like, let's see, let's see. Oh, I don't know. They gave us the first down? That is Travis Johnson's third reception, and I'll be completely honest with you. I, I thought that was incomplete. And not only that, but a first down is even more crazy. <laughs> and go ahead, Saquon, up top, up top, up top. And he did not run how I needed him to run. And Mazzy Smith has just been a menace and a throwing in my backside, chasing me down again. Yeah, I mean, I'm not gonna use Saquon so much because like I said, we're gonna end up trading him anyways. Try to update the roster as much as we can. We have a quick slant, don't run into each other. He took a big hit, but he hangs on to it for eight yards. I think we've had enough time to bring out this bubble screen again. We've been slow, but we'll get it going. I'm, I'm telling you, we'll get it going. Bubble screen, nice catch, and we might be into the end zone. They might call a legal blocking before we got the catch OPI. Rivers dropping back, and I'll just take the check down. We, gotta, we have to take what we can get, especially if it's getting penalty yardage back. That's a gain of 11 for Saquon. Now we have a few folds to this play. This could go to Slayton, this could go to Johnson. I mean, honestly, it can go to Robinson. But we'll see where who gets covered. I'm going to lead him forward. And he's into the end zone. That is a touchdown to duo connect. Now, we have a little stutter step and go on both receivers. I don't think I don't think Stephon Gilmore is going to bite on that. But 
And yeah, they had zone coverage. And Demarcus Lawrence got a free rush at me. Come on, O-line. Somebody. They're putting a double team on Lawrence. I don't even know if we can do that for the simple fact that Mazzy Smith has been a problem as well. Now, okay, oh, no safety, please. Oh, my God, we just got out of the safety. So the defense stood as tall as they could, if we're being honest. They did all they could. It was a long drive for the Cowboys. 53 seconds left. And right now, we could use Bellinger. I'll try to lead him to the sideline. He undercut it, almost picked off. Now, look, we have no timeouts. And you know what? At this point, let's leave Saquon the block and see if we can win off the route. And... That's game. <laughs> now look, the route looked so ugly. I tried to hit a stutter step off the line. They just gave me a weird animation and he threw it before I could really get a step on him. So look, 17 to 25, 241 yards, a touchdown and a pick. Bellinger was the leading receiver, five catches, 90 yards. However, we did get five catches, 66 yards and a touchdown for Travis Johnson in our NFL debut. We're on the week two. We got to get this L off us. So unless I'm a little slow, which is yet to be determined. <laughs> so unless I'm a little slow, I read that the Giants actually signed Devon Singletary, Devin Singletary. Um, little motor, that's what they call him. But we're going to Johnson for a bomb to start the game. While we'll be right back with that thought. We're starting this off with a strike. Second game on the season. Second touchdown, Travis Johnson. Now, as I was saying, before we had that strike to start this game off with Arizona, we, we traded Saquon Barkley. And, oh, I thought we had a pick low-key, but Breeder with a whole lot of space. I feel like it's going to be a holding call and it's going to come back. But before I keep forgetting my thought, we, we traded and got Devon Singletary in the backfield now. So you'll probably see him next week. But personal foul, attack 15 on. So we have third and 10. They're blitzing the linebacker. And we already loaded up the Johnson. Nice catch. First down. But look, like I said, I'm not a mobile quarterback. But that won't stop me from getting my read option on at times. Uh, he waited for me. We <laughs> handed out the Breeder. And that is a healthy gain of 10 for a first down. I'm surprised they actually felt threatened by the read option right there. Now, let's see if we can get Johnson for a second touchdown. Quick drag. And he got body bag, but getting it all the way down to the one-yard line. Three catches, 96 yards in this one. So, if you thought last week was a little underwhelming, he's on fire right now. And we got Matt Breida taking it into the end zone. Our first and 10. We have another drag route. I see Breeder wide open, but we'll just take the slide. So we have 35 at the incomplete pass. I'm thinking Waller or Breeder. Waller delayed, and he almost let the pressure get home, but at least he ended up with the first down anyway that the first quarter is over. Oh, the, I'm so happy that linebacker did not jump. If he had Lurker, that would have been a house call. I'm telling you right now, but we got Darren Waller again. Now I'm thinking Waller again, honestly. Try to fit it in there. Nice catch again. Third time this drive, Darren Waller and Reese Rivers connected. We have time. I see a free rusher. I got to let it go. It's not the complete. We got to settle for a field goal. Empty has not worked. I mean, I have to run. I have to run with it. I have to run with it. Get out of bounds. No fumbles. Mean stiff arm on Buda Baker. Now, look, we do have the 88 break tackle. So we can definitely get out there in space. I might be trying Johnson one more time. Depends on where that safety drops. And he knows ball, but the linebacker does not. Darren Waller wide open. Second and five. In the middle of the zone. That got to be roughing the passer again, right? Give me my 15 yards. They keep hitting me after I'm letting the ball go. I don't know why they're out here trying to rough up the rookie, bruh. I don't know why they're doing it. We'll put Johnson on a whip route, but I'm thinking this could be like some type of cover two. And it is not. That was a terrible call. <laughs> Touchdown, Travis Johnson. Third and five, I might just take a little check down. Oh, I was about to get sacked and we have a first down again. We had to evade and leave the pocket two times in a row. It does hit a little different when you know you can't get out of the pocket with that like real speed. You gotta be precise at what you're doing. That's cover three. And we're going down. I saw people open. I wanted to let it rip. You might see a lot of sacks just because I can't just get out of the pocket. We broke a tackle and we're going down the second time. I saw Breida, I believe, all the way down the field wide open. So we had a minimal gain that then got changed to the face mask. So we have a new set of downs right here. And they have cover two man. I did not call for the ball. He ended up throwing it the opposite way. Can we go chase him down? Jackson's going to get a pick. First turnover on the day. Luckily for us, the defense held. That turnover meant nothing. We get the ball back. Two minutes and some change. We're coming out aggressive. 
Johnson with the catch, is barely picking up four yards. Waller might get open, and then, but we might be able to try a bomb to Johnson if we have the time. And I think we have it. Can you chase that down? Dot, Todd Travis Johnson again. What a performance. Turn it all the way around from week one. So ultimately, we go 16 to 24, 297 yards, three touchdowns, one pick. Meanwhile, Travis Johnson, eight catches, 179 yards, three touchdowns. Darren Waller had four for 81. I mean, the tight ends have been real clutch so far. So that's going to conclude this episode, man. We'll be back with episode two. We'll be taking on the 49ers and the Seahawks. We really caught fire versus the Cardinals. I mean, obviously a worse secondary, but I'll catch y'all boys next time we out.